I just got back from Dollar Tree and I'm ready to show you a haul and set up a mini Christmas tree with Aubrey. Welcome back to Lima Bean Living. If you guys are new here, my name is Emily. Welcome to my little motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. I did a spontaneous trip to Dollar Tree today, really just to pick up one thing. Ended up getting 26 things, but that's okay. So I figured I would show you guys a little haul and then we're gonna set up a little Christmas tree with the things that Aubrey picked out in the store. So let's go ahead and talk about the tree stuff. We're actually gonna be combining these, so I'll show you what to do, but it makes it more full. The trees definitely come looking a little bare, so we're gonna double up on the greenery. Aubrey picked out these ornaments. I thought the berries would look nice. She wanted white flowers, or as she says, flagas. Um, we got our little tree topper. They have these cute tree skirts. And instead of white lights, she wanted colorful ones. I also got my mom uh, another oven mitt because it's been, we've been like burning holes in her other ones and a dish drying mat just to kind of go together. And then this was a cute little find, um, the little sequins change color. And I thought this would be a cute little addition to Aubrey's bed. She might just kind of like it and feel like it's very decorative for her room. She also wanted some lights. And so I figured this little LED light up necklace would be fun. And I got, if you can hear Aubrey in the background, she's like singing. This I got just to kind of have on hand for like crafts and stuff, possibly a craft I will be doing in an upcoming video. This was kind of the reason I went in. This isn't exactly what I was looking for, but I think it will do. And then we got some freeze dried strawberries and Tic Tacs that are not here because Aubrey already stole them. And last but not least, how could I forget these baskets? I love, love, love these baskets. Um, especially I like I plan on having them in my pantry they're great for holding snacks they fit perfectly in Aubrey's little grocery store so whenever I see them I'm like like especially this larger size I didn't have that many but I'm like I need more of these for sure because some of the ones that we had kind of are broken on the bottom so this will be good for replacing those and then just having some more on hand well let me go and get Aubrey and let's make this tree okay can you show the camera your new pillow Show it what, show the camera what it does. Yeah. Okay, let me take off the tag. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna open up one of these Christmas trees and just completely set it up. Are you excited? Whoa. Wow. That is how the tree is gonna stand up. Do you like the little tree so far? Mm -mm. No, does it need more green? Mm -hmm. Yes, let's do it again, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, so now that we've got our little somewhat bare tree, you know, it's, it's definitely um, scarce, I think is the right word, I don't know. Um, we're gonna open this one up. We're not gonna use the legs. We're actually just gonna line up like the base just down here so that the greenery is offset and then twist them around the pole so that it like secures Mommy, it together. I will help you. Okay, well we don't need the scissors right now. Can you help me um, take the tree out of the box? Mm -hmm. Okay. We don't need the legs, take the tree out. You can even take the little base off, which I had forgotten about. So we just have the little pole here and we're gonna open these guys up just like I did this tree and attach it and I'll show you guys that in a sec. What a surprise, mommy. You want a surprise? Mm-hmm, I got a surprise. Very nice. Ta-da. Ta-da. There's something in here. All right, let's put on this, nap this uh, necklace. Okay, ready, mommy. Pull the little tab out and then put it on. Put on the necklace. So we have our other Christmas tree and we're just gonna kind of like sandwich this in between. And actually, you know what I remembered? The trick is, is you move all of the greenery to like one half. So I got the one half here, one half here. And we're gonna sandwich them together this way, but offset them just a little bit. 
And then we kind of wrap the greenery around the other tree. So like the greenery on this side will wrap around and maybe just take like one piece to secure the trees together. And you can twist like the top pieces together. All right, and then once that's kind of just secured together, we can fluff this up a bit and make it look a little bit more full. Next up, let's go ahead and check out this little tree skirt. This is definitely something that I think is new. Definitely cute though. They had other uh, styles, but this one says farm fresh Christmas trees. Mommy, are you gonna cover that up? Yeah. And now we can put the garland on. Yay! <laughs> All right. Here, but not on the lights. Well, we're gonna take off the lights because we have special lights for the tree. This, these lights are for a necklace. What the winking? Yeah, they're blinking. Where the way to not stop? Oh, till they stop. Uh huh. Okay. But the lights is on. <gasps> they're blinking faster. Now they're solid. <gasps> they stopped. Uh, okay, now let's take it off. Okay. It's mommy, it's mommy. So we got these mommy. berry garland little thingy. They used to have some in like an orangey hey. color that I got mommy. in the fall mommy. last year. So we're just gonna wrap this around. Mommy. And as far as these berries go, I'm just gonna wrap until I use the entire thing. <laughs> All right. Now I'm gonna break this up and we're gonna like shove these in the tree somehow. I had to use my special scissors from my dad's garage and we're just gonna tuck these in and probably twist this around to hold it in place. Actually, I'm just sticking it in between the two centers of the trees and that just kind of holds it in place. Now that that is done, we can go ahead and tie the little um, strings on all these ornaments. And here I'm just tying like a simple, simple knot, not like a double thing to secure the little ornaments to the tree. Mommy, I'm gonna give you a hug. Mm. Mommy, I'm gonna give you a hug, Mommy. Mommy, I love it, Mommy. Aw, I'm glad you love it. Mm. Honestly, I'd probably just be happy with this, but since it's her tree and we bought this for her, we're just gonna deck this out with even more. Okay, so we've got our little tree decked out in the ornaments and the flowers. We're gonna put our little tree topper on and put on her colorful lights. Aubrey, what are you doing? I'm skating. You're skating? All right, the lights I kind of strung on, and here we go. All right, I kind of feel like this looks kind of sad. I don't know, are you guys like a tree topper type of person, or do you kind of feel like it's pointless? Maybe it'd look better on a bigger tree. I really have no idea. Well, anyways, we're gonna leave it like that, see if she likes it. Maybe we'll find another use for it somewhere else, but we got her tree done. And I'm going to move this so that we can turn it on and admire the lights. I love it. Mm -hmm. I love it, Mommy. I'm glad you love it, sweetie. You want to put it in your room? Mm -hmm. Okay. So unfortunately, I missed her initial reaction when I plugged it in. She's like, wow, I love it. And then she only said that she loved it on camera. So again, this little setup is $2 for the tree. And then one, so this would be $3, $4, $5, $6, and then seven for the lights and eight for the flowers. So a total of eight bucks for this entire little setup, not bad. But anyways, I'd like to thank you for watching today's video and checking out my little tree and my Dollar Tree haul. Um, stay tuned for some other little Christmas crafts. I'm going to be doing some things that I've seen on TikTok, so I'm excited about that. And yeah, thanks for joining along. If you're new here, I hope you subscribe and stick around. I'm actually, I believe, eight months pregnant now. 
and uh, little baby Jack is gonna be arriving sometime in the near like month and a half. So we'll see what that, you know, what all that brings. So it's a little crazy around here and um, give, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and I'll catch you guys in the next one. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.